And again, I mean, if, if, if this was a dog I was using for certification or competition, even if I was clippering it, this is going to be way down here. You know, we, we, we have this transition from the back foot up into the underline and then back down to the back foot. So we're not going to get that today either, but you want it tight on the back of the front foot. But even if, they're, even if they got little tiny feet in the front, then what you want to do is you want to come back around and make that foot look like it's a little bit bigger. Keep it off the ground, but don't trim it so short and tight to the nail in the front. You can actually show nails on terriers. Um, but if their foot is not big enough, he's got nice little, he's got nice big feet. Um, if their foot isn't big enough, then just keep it off the ground and make it, um, don't trim more off the front and make that foot look like it's a little bit bigger. So I always take everything off the bottom first because that's, that's the whole shape of your foot right there. And then you're not fighting yourself because those little hairs keep poking out. Stop. I'm not pulling your foot the wrong way. Stop it. So nice and tight on the back here because that's what is going to blend up into your underline. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna make believe today. And then if, if he had all of that, we would make sure we come down the outside of the leg here and we would make sure that we trim this stuff in the front here because we wanna separate the leg from the body, but we don't wanna remove it from the rest of the furnishings. So in other words, even though this would be down to here, you don't want this stuff on the outside of the legs to be that long because when they move, it's gonna go it's going to flop all over the place. Um, and that goes for a lot of breeds, you know, like um, Marlene just arrived. She's got poodles like I do. If you leave that whole front area here, if you leave that too big and floppy, when they move, all the judge sees is -dugga, ba -dugga, ba -dugga, ba -dugga, you know, and they get distracted by that. And that can mean the difference between whether you make a placement when you show or in a grooming competition, um, because most of the people that are judging you in grooming competition know all that stuff. And they're going to go through, and look, especially Pina. Pina shows poodles and cockers and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, those judges know these things. So we're going to just go through and just take your thinning shears and just kind of blend it down a little bit so that when the dog moves, you're not finding all of that stuff sticking out. And then we're just gonna round that foot. And if he dances around, pick up his butt. It's that easy, don't fight with him. Handling is one of the biggest things that I teach because I find that we don't get a lot of that. And some of it's just a matter of knowing what to do. So you don't want any hair touching the ground. And he's got really, he's got really nice fat feet, which is good. So I can get him nice and tight right through here. But like I said, if he had skinny little feet like a poodle under there because of genetics or whatever, I wouldn't trim it that tight. I would leave more hair and let it, let it be what it is. So if I was getting this dog ready, trying to grow him out, that's really pretty much all I would do with that front leg. Because I want all of this stuff to grow and be incorporated with the underline. So I think we're just going to get to his head and one side today because we were running late and we talked about a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Um, I do, um, especially when they have a really big thick coat like this. He didn't need it in the front, but I was just getting ready to do that. Good girl. So again, like with Cocker Spaniels and that, if you've got really thick hair, if you don't get that stuff, comb, pull it out this way, and then comb the top again so you make sure you're not making a line in the top, and then just trim it off the bottom whatever you didn't get when you did the pad of the feet. Or if it's a show dog and they don't want you to shave out the pads of the feet, then do it, but only trim it off just even with the pad of the foot. 
so you're not, you know, torquing off your show braider. And then his back foot is going to be a lot tighter. And I always only just trim off the bottom first and not the tail in there. Hey, come here. You got bad knee? Doesn't feel like it. Okay. How old is he? Mm, maybe he's just a terrier. <laughs> There's that too. Okay, so again, I don't want to, I want to take off the sides here so it's not flopping around, but I don't want to take off any here because we're going to try to, you know, we would try to grow all this out. And if you take all this stuff off and you only grow this, then you end up with that and then the leg is too separate and this is too short. Come here. Most dogs want to look out the window. What are you doing? I know, that's why the loop is on that. I know, I was like, well, that's perfect. But yeah, he's not cooperating. Up, 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 up. You're okay. I'm holding it. But he really has just, a, he's got a ton of coat. Probably as a puppy would have been a wonderful candidate for hand stripping. But since it hasn't been done, all he has is this, you know, this major fluff. Because his genetics want to make lots of coat, but we haven't been stripping it out. So it just becomes really, really thick cotton stuff. All right, so you can see that that back foot is smaller than the front foot. Okay, and so basically that's as good as it gets at this point. Um, I may trim his visor a little bit, but then this you would come back, take your thinning shears and blend this in some more. Or if you were hand stripping, you would come back and make the point of, you know, pulling down the sides to make sure that it's blending in and laying down. Mm -hmm. Don't take it off, but you want it to lay down. Again, you don't want the dog to be running around and all this stuff on the sides is going everywhere. Now, if he had an underline like you imagine he should, mm -hmm. I have a hard time envisioning like what it looks like from the front, like dealing with that bib and how to mm -hmm. trim and, and make it look presentable without it being like a uniboob type of thing. Right, right. I mean, other than um, said about the thinners on the leg to really mm -hmm. differentiate between lengths there. Right. So what happens is, is you end up you end up separating here, and then across the front here. What I do is when I come from here and I trim this underline, I come with my scissors and I trim into that underline and then I want this to match what I do back here. All right, well then I've been approaching it from the front, so I'll just go You can, the back. you can, but if you come from the back first and you trim boop, 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 and into the back of that leg, then when you come around to the front, you'll see where you trimmed it. And then all you gotta do is go across the front. It, it's straight across in the front. We have a couple here that have had like the furnishings down to like, whoa. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna take some of that up. That's right. like all the way yeah. down. And, and even um, the, the Scotty that I did before, yes. the, the brother that he had, that, that they had was, I mean, he was full show coat. I mean, other than stripping, I mean, he was gorgeous. And he was getting older. And they moved to a place out there in Ortega where they were picking up all these little leaves. And so I, I'd take my thinning shears and I, I would trim up this much off the bottom so they weren't touching the ground. And they thought I was fabulous. But it still looked, yeah. you know, I, it was still the underline shape, you know, this, the rolling underline from, from the toe up to the tuck up and back around. It's just that real gentle slope. It's not like a poodle where it's, you know. Yes. Well